As patriots for economic progress, we have noted the statement that was issued by the Minister of Transport and Logistics, Honorable Frank Tayari, that his government has decided to reintroduce police roadblocks in view of the high number of road traffic accidents in the past few days, including the accident that happened the day before yesterday along Greatest Road on the entrance of the University of Zambia, which claimed the lives of uh, 12 citizens, as well as the accident that happened a few days ago uh, along the Nsumbun Summer Road, which claimed the lives of 20 members of the United Church of Zambia. For us, we have always believed that road uh, blocks along the roads by police officers contribute significantly to curbing uh, road traffic accidents. Uh, they help in terms of ensuring that vehicles moving on the roads are roadworthy and that they are in compliance with the traffic laws of the land. And removing roadblocks by police officers actually undermine road safety. And we advised the UPND administration accordingly when they first made this decision uh, just after ascending to office. We advised them that they will compromise the lives of the Zambian people if they suspend police roadblocks. But of course, this was to no avail. And they insisted that members of the Road Traffic and Safety Agency, or LATSA, will be adequate to police our roads. And uh, over the past couple of months, of course, we have seen a sudden increase compared to other years in road traffic accidents, as well as fatalities uh, in these road traffic accidents. And uh, it is good that government uh, eventually decided to introspect on their policy mistake of uh, suspending police roadblocks. And they have reversed their policy mistake. But we believe that that in itself is not sufficient. We strongly believe that the UPND administration actually owes an apology to the Zambian people for suspending police roadblocks, which resulted in the death of several uh, citizens of our country on the roads through road traffic accidents. And uh, by extending an apology to the citizens, the UPND administration will be showing decency to the people of Zambia, and they will be giving some level of assurance to the people of Zambia that going forward, they are going to pay attention to voices that hold opposing views on different national matters. It must also be noted that when we challenge government on some of the policy decisions that they make, we are not doing it out of spite. We are not doing it to undermine them. We are doing it to help them to properly govern this country. We are doing it to help them to make better decisions which can save the lives of the Zambian people. And had the UPND government listened to our advice, uh, before implementing their policy to ban police roadblocks, the loss of Zambian people's lives would not have been as severe as it is today. And that is the more reason why the UPND administration actually owes an apology to the Zambian people. Thank you.